Climate change, economic sustainability, and rural development are three big challenges for the world's coffee producers. And these issues are being addressed head-on this week at the inaugural World Coffee Producers Forum, taking place in Medellin, Colombia. The event even attracted former U.S. President Bill Clinton, a longtime advocate for sustainable economic development in developing countries. I would say you need a national strategy. We have to take climate change into account. And you need to see coffee as an anchor crop. Nearly 1,000 people in all are taking part in the first-of-its-kind event, bringing together government representatives, coffee companies, producers and traders from more than 40 coffee-producing countries. Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos stressed the need to bridge the gap between the amount of money a cup of coffee is sold for in a city like New York and how much trickles down to the coffee producers. $3.50 and the producer receives less than five cents. So the effort to gain just a bit, not something extravagant, just a small percentage to increase the effect in the social fabric of all of these 60 countries would be enormous. According to the International Coffee Organization, about 125 million people make their living from coffee production, mostly small farmers in developing countries in Africa, Asia and Latin America. Coffee varieties are extremely sensitive to even slight temperature changes, which affect the yield and flavor of the crop and rising temperatures, drought and intensive rainfall are already taking a toll on coffee crops. The head of the International Coffee Organization says he is concerned about global coffee supplies over the next five years because of climate change and low prices. Trading in Arabic coffee futures fell to a 16-month low in June. I would urge financial investment institutions that are attending this forum to consider collaborating with the ICO in financing coffee farmers. We must all come together to help the smallholders who are desperate for access to finance. The need to address challenges is more pressing than ever. Consumption is up and growing still. Good news for the industry, if it can keep up with demand, to perhaps double current production levels over the next 30 to 40 years. Michelle Vega, CGTN, Bogota.